Man, I hated this game. It was not a fun experience at all. Psych, just kidding. Imagine if I said that. Oh boy. Chrono Trigger is a really interesting game to me. It came out in 1995, and for many of us who have experienced this game, that was a formative period in our growing up. Perhaps you played it as a young kid, or perhaps you played it as an adult, but there is this sort of nostalgia that immediately comes with a game like Chrono Trigger. And I have to say, it did live up to the hype. I was a little bit nervous about how I was going to feel playing this game, but the game honestly plays unbelievably well, even in the year 2023. And I have to ask myself, why does Chrono Trigger withstand the test of time? And I think it has to do with a few things. One, the game is super streamlined. Sometimes we get into this habit, and I know you know this, that we play these RPGs and we have to grind out levels and we have to invest a lot of time. Chrono Trigger is not like that. I did pretty much everything I needed to do to have a pretty successful, pain-free end of this experience with just under 20 hours of gameplay. It wasn't a lot, and, and for that I really appreciate it because in 20 hours, you get incredible stories, you get themes of friendship, time, which we'll talk about, serious good versus evil experiences, and it's packaged really well. I think that that's actually a huge part of what makes Chrono Trigger so great is that you don't have to lose your soul to it. You can play it, finish it, and then come back to it and experience it again. I think too, like the theme of time, super mature, for what was around in 1995. Think about it. In 1995, we had Twisted Metal, we had Yoshi's Island, we had Tekken 2, Rayman, Mortal Kombat 3. We weren't necessarily getting games that were inherently deep that we're talking about life itself. It doesn't matter when you play it, the experience will be different for you based on your age. Whether you're six years old, 15, 25, 35, 45, you experience time in a different way each of those years. Chrono Trigger is one of these games that we experience it on a different level due to where we are in our own lives. And that's, I think, really special that not every game can pull off. And I think speaking of that, the characters are so fantastically pleasant. And really the whole game, I, I would say that the whole game is just pleasant. It's a warm hug. It's a blanket of excitement and, and joy. And it doesn't take itself too seriously. And it doesn't go so deep that it makes you feel like the pressure on you as a player is sky high. The characters are wonderful. The friendship idea, this bond that all of these characters have as you progress through the game feels, feels so amazing. And I think the concept of time is really interesting. Time can make us angry and upset and suffer. And how many of us wouldn't want to travel to a different time period or even to last year or last week and experience a situation slightly differently than we did when it actually played out in the present moment? I know I do. And I think that's a really interesting conversation. That must have been crazy for people that played this as young folks to experience the ability to go back in time all the way to the prehistoric era and experience what people were like then. It's almost like a, if you were to step back in time in history, who would you talk to? What would you ask? And I think it's such an interesting and lovely concept to really embrace. But then of course, and the main point that I want to talk about here is the music. Yasunori Mitsuda, pushing himself so hard that he fell ill. This music here is incredibly diverse, joyful, interesting, very rooted in its time. There is an essential essence here that is rooted in anime stylings of hope and excitement and possibility. There are moments where I feel that we are thrust into the 1980s with jazz and with bass guitars, and then of course we get Robo's theme and Rick Ainsley's Never Gonna Give You Up, Never Gonna Let You Down. There are a couple tracks in this that oddly are the more slow tracks that really catch me off guard. Corridors of Time, Shala's theme, of course you have World Revolution which is great, and Wings That Cross Time. Those are just a couple examples of pieces that really left me pondering the depth of this game. And in fact, what I'd like to do is listen to Corridors of Time and Shala's theme specifically and what these represent to me.
to me, this feeling of being in the, in the kingdom of zeal and this music being so abundantly informative of the scientific process, the home of scholars and wards and people that are deep thinkers who analyze the details of life. Corridors of Time fills me with the inherent feeling of knowledge incarnate and excitement for knowing things, you know? And I think that part of that's because of the way that the instrumentation is. The way that it starts too with these drums. Like it very clearly that mallet instrument, it has this, this foreign sort of unknowing quality of, of something distant, of something unknown, something that maybe Chrono and team have never seen before. And so they walk in and they see these shelves of books and just these learned people all dressed up very fancily, studying materials and reflecting on the mysteries of life. And you can't help but be like, wow, these people are so educated. Like this is a world I didn't know existed. Even the melody here as we listen in. <laughs> Understand that melody is such a key important aspect of pretty much anything when it comes to music and the fact that I mean it's so melodic it's so full of singing and energy Picture it underneath. You have this choir of singers. Like imagine if you could just picture the the, the scholars going ha ha. You hear them in the background, and then it shifts. I mean, what a great line. It's like almost dancing. But there is a, a twinge of melancholy in there. Because even though we're in a utopia, not everything is perfect. Another track that really has just left a deep and solid impression on me is Shala's theme. Of all the themes in the game, Shala's theme has filled me with this feeling of sadness. The way that it plays, you instantly feel a sense of sadness. You instantly feel a feeling of loss. Those triads. And then it kicks in. These bongos. Sustain notes. Where are we gonna go? And then we lead with. That song is so full of sadness. That's the internal world that we hear with Shala, that we don't get to see. And even though she feels a certain way, she's not allowed to express that outwardly because of that relationship that she has with a certain character. And the power of that is that then that infers how we should feel as players, not being able to control Shala as a playable character. This is the only character that has a theme that isn't playable. And that pain and, and that innocence comes through in such a deep and somber way. There are a lot more tracks from Chrono Trigger that I'd like to focus on on the channel, but for this just primer for me, I just wanted to talk about Corridors of Time and Shala's song and Shala's theme because I felt that these, even though the slowest of the lot pretty much, I felt a deep and moving sense of understanding for what this game was. In one Corridors of Time, we're depicting an entire civilization that has had no suffering, that has built itself on the richness of wisdom and, and the mind. And then we get Shala's theme, which is all about the weight 
of not having control of your own life. These tracks help push the narrative forward and give us a feeling of richness and depth. And I say this because the last half of Chrono Trigger was so moving and so beautiful. Some of the resolution that we saw with the side stories that weren't even part of the main story. Frog's journey, Prometheus's journey, when you uh, do that side quest where he contemplates existentialism and the meaning of life. We see that scene in the forest. That stuff is deep and rich, and especially rich for someone who's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten years old, who maybe has never even thought about existentialism and what it means to be a person on a timeline, in a moment, in life, in, in the vastness of time and space. Anyway, so those are my initial thoughts on Chrono Trigger. It was an awesome experience. I'm glad I finally played it. I was very overdue. Very, very overdue. I hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to like, subscribe. There's links in the about section if you want to support the channel, and there's lots more Chrono Trigger to come on the channel for sure. Thanks a ton, and I'll see you later. Bye.